Hey man, what it is? This is Dame, and I am your host, and this is by any means. There go the cash app. You know it work. Holla at your boy. My guy that was sent, sent me bread in the cash app yesterday, Brody, is much, much, much appreciated. You know that everybody that be showing love. There go the PayPal at Dame by any means. Hit that super chat button. That worked as well. Y'all say it with me. I don't care if y'all leave a dollar, ten dollars, a thousand dollars. It is much, much, much appreciated, y'all. I just got a question that I want to ask all the Earthmen around the world. Have y'all ever heard anybody say that Lomachenko and Shakur Stevenson need to go to 140? Because what's good for the goose got to be good for the gander, right? I have never heard nobody say that Shakur Stevenson and Lomachenko have to go to 140. Why are they trying to push Javante Davis to have to do it? I never understood that. When Liam Paro is not a big name, Poyu's not a big name, Tiafimo Lopez can't literally fight. So even if he wanted to fight Tiafimo Lopez at 140 this year, that wouldn't happen. Devin Haney is not fighting for the rest of the year and is in champion recess. We don't even know what Devin Haney is going to do because Devin Haney got to get things worked out with the promotion companies first. He's suing Golden Boy. Eddie Hearn don't really want to do business with him. And Bob Arum, damn sure, not trying to do business with him unless it's under their terms, which, as we see from Devin Haney and Bill, they not trying to do things on other people's terms. That's unfortunate. You got people talking about Ryu and Pitbull when they know they got a rematch clause. And when Ryu was the first name mentioned, y'all trashed the fight and said, Javante Davis versus Ryu Venezuela is a trash fight fight in a cherry pick. I'm old enough to remember, y'all, when y'all was making, remember, that's the guy we all thought Javante was going to fight. Even be, uh, around the Lomachenko time. That was literally the guy. Now you got people saying that Javante Davis is ducking Pitbull Cruz. You mean the guy that y'all dared me and other content creators that that's all the type of fighters Javante Davis fight? We don't want to see a Pitbull. I guarantee you he's fighting Pitbull next. That's what y'all said. Now you want the fight? When you know he got a rematch clause? Then people say, well, Dean, he could have paid Pitbull step aside money. Do Pitbull seem like he wants step aside? He already got a Javante Davis check, people. Pitbull Cruz won his loss back. He won his belt back. And if you've been around Pitbull Cruz or listen to him interview and see his demeanor, do you think that he just want to just take that L on the chin against Ryu? I can tell you he doesn't. Step aside money only work if the guy actually wants to step aside. You're not going to pay him more money to step aside than he's going to make fighting Ryu again in the rematch. No. But my thing is, y'all, why have you never heard nobody say Lomachenko and Shakur Stevenson got to go to 130, uh, 140? When Lomachenko and Shakur Stevenson are bigger than Javante Davis. I have people on Twitter sit up there and tell me that Lomachenko is too small to go to 140, but Javante Davis is not? Y'all know Lomachenko 5'7", right? Y'all understand that Lomachenko's 5'7". There's highly... Uh, I guarantee you Lomachenko walks around heavier than Javante Davis. I don't know that for a fact, but uh, I think he... I, I'm pretty sure he does. I know for a fact Shakur Stevenson is way bigger than Javante Davis. We got pictures to prove it. Shakur, Shakur Stevenson could easily be at 147 if he wanted to. Shakur Stevenson could easily make 147. Absolutely he could. And I think that's some goals that he has later down the road. I'm not forcing Shakur to go up there, though. But all of these channels that y'all see criticizing Javante Davis, saying he ain't chasing greatness, he ain't doing this, I got a question. Forget all the should he go, shouldn't he go. Why ain't y'all asking Lomachenko and, and, and Shakur Stevenson to do it? When they're bigger than Javante Davis. The best fights for Javante Davis aren't at 140. Because the minute Javante Davis, y'all, goes to 140, you know what they're going to say. 
He aged out Lomachenko. He ducked Lomachenko. He ducked in Shakur Stevenson. We got people sitting up here telling me that Javante Davis is scared of Kid Austin. Javante Davis going to 140 because he know um, Abdullah Mason coming. Abdullah Mason is way bigger than Javante Davis. Nobody, and he had a very hard time making weight his last fight. Nobody's asking uh, Abdullah Mason to go to 140 besides Dean. Because I realize how hard it is for him to make 135 right now. He's barely making it. And he's too young to be barely making it. He needs to move up. I'm just being real with Abdullah Mason. And that's one of my favorite fighters. Right now, he's creeping up into my like top five favorite fighters. My thing is, y'all y'all know my name is Mr. Consistency. I'm all about being consistent. If Javante Davis got to go up to 140 and chase greatness, then so do Lomachenko and Shakur Stevenson last time I checked. Because Shakur Stevenson and Javante Davis are two years apart. Two and a half years, something like that. Shakur Stevenson started off at 126.2, I believe, 130, went to 135, same did same stuff that Javante Davis is doing. But nobody is putting that pressure on Shakur, but he's the main guy y'all think is Javante Davis' biggest adversaries. Javante Davis' two biggest adversaries are both at 135. When you want to talk about his other two adversaries that we actually want him to fight at 140, because if he goes to 140 and don't fight Devin or fight Tio, you know what they're going to say, y'all? He ducked Devin and Tio to fight Paro, to fight Poyu. That is what they're going to say. Well, if he could have came to 140, why he can't fight Devin? If he come to 140, why he couldn't fight Tio? Y'all know that's what they're going to say. They're talking about Javante Davis is always pulling up somebody and putting them on a rehydration clause. Only person he put on a rehydration clause was Mario Barrios and Ryan Garcia. And Ryan Garcia just left 135 but wanted to fight. Y'all acting like Ryan Garcia wasn't a lightweight. We, as we see, Ryan Garcia is not even disciplined enough to be at 140. But y'all was mad at what he did to Devin, but y'all was perfect, but y'all wanted y'all wanted him to do that to Javante Davis. That goes to show you the hate right there. Y'all said Ryan was unprofessional and not making weight, but then tell him that Javante Davis gave him a pound. Y'all understand that Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia fought at 140. They didn't fight at 135. 135 is a weight limit. That means you can't be above 135. Both fighters was above 135. Well, Javante Davis wasn't, but Ryan Garcia was. That makes it a 140 fight. Because guys weigh in all the time at 137 and they fighting at 140. Yeah. Yeah, that happens. Gary Antoine Russell to be uh, for an example of you if you want to learn, if you want to know about who am I talking about. Yeah. So again, I have no problem with you saying that Javante Davis could got to go to 140 or do all of that. The problem I got, you're not asking none of his contemporaries to do that either. What you want to say because he's so good? Well, well, if he's so good, then why are you questioning in his greatness? If Javante Davis is so good, and he's great, then why are you questioning his greatness? That don't make sense to me. Do that make sense to you? Well, Javante Davis can fight. Look at Bavall and Baturbia. They making fights happen. Bavall is about to be 34. Other Baturbia is about to be 40. But you see how y'all gave them that grace. Javante Davis is three, four years away from being Dimitri Bavall's age. Let, I mean, to be being um, yeah, Dimitri Bavall age. Let alone, let alone Arthur Baturbiev. Arthur Baturbiev, this is the most spotlight he has gotten. And he's forty years old. Where was all these great fights in his twenties and his early thirties and all the stuff that y'all hold Javante Davis to? What it comes to seem like to me is that there's a standard for Javante Davis that there ain't a standard for everybody else. I haven't heard one content creator nowhere say that Shakur Stevenson is not chasing greatness, that Lomachenko is not chasing greatness. Why are they not going to 140 when both of those fighters are bigger than Javante Davis? Yeah. 
Lomachenko is at least two to three inches taller than Javante Davis. Shakur Stevenson is definitely three to four inches taller than Javante Davis. Absolutely he is. We know Shakur body holds more weight than Javante Davis. That's not even a question. Y'all must not watch Lomachenko fight. I just got to kill these narratives back to back, y'all. Y'all already know what this is. Ding. By any means. And I holla at y'all.